Tenants inside the First National Center say conditions at the building are deteriorating. Some tenants have spent the last two weeks walking up and down up to 14 flights of stairs while the elevators above the 13th floor were broken. One of the elevators was repaired on Friday. However, just as soon as the access was restored, the last working elevator to the 14th floor stopped working on Monday. Tenants have also reported bringing their own toilet paper to work when the restrooms went without supplies. Just two months ago, some of the same tenants were told the building was being sold to a California developer and leases were set to be terminated. The developer, Stephen Goodman, told the Oklahoman the sale appears to be back on track after two parties battling over ownership of the property agreed on how to proceed. Confusion stems from a lawsuit waged by a New York investor attempting to recover $6 million from Aaron Yoshafar, who continued to oversee operations at First National after claiming to have sold it to Los Angeles-based Neiman Brothers.